The Girl Who Lived Forever. She was murdered during a time of evil and hatred, but her diary survived. This is a story of how Anne Frank became one of the most important writers in history. April 2019 by Kirsten, Kristen Lewis. It was early morning. 13-year-old Anne Frank was hurrying down the street with her parents and sister. The day was warm, but Anne was wearing two vests, three pairs of pants, a dress, a jacket, a skirt, and more. Sweat rolled down Anne's face. She felt foolish wearing so much clothing, but this was a life-or-death situation, and Anne knew it. It was July 6, 1942, in Amsterdam, a city in the Netherlands. Because they were Jewish, the Franks were in danger. Jewish means someone whose religion is Judaism. Anthony's family is Jewish, and they pray in a place called a synagogue. They had made the daring decision to go into hiding, to disappear without a trace. Anne and her family had to pretend that they were simply out for a stroll. They had to wear all their clothing because carrying suitcases would make people suspicious. Suspicious is having a feeling that something is wrong. My dad was suspicious when he saw our front door open. If anyone discovered what they were doing, they could be arrested and killed. A terrifying leader. This is where you do the pause and think in the go formative. What was Anne's family doing that morning and why? A terrifying leader. Anne Frank wasn't so different from you and your friends. She struggled with math, worried about boys, and de decorated her room with posters of movie stars. But this ordinary girl lived through one of the most evil periods in history. A German leader named Adolf Hitler and his Nazi party were spreading fear throughout Europe. Hitler's rise to power started before Anne was even born. After Germany lost World War I in 1918, unemployment was widespread and money was scarce. People felt angry and resentful. Hitler blamed Jewish people for Germany's problems and said that they did not deserve to live. The Franks had lived peacefully in Germany for generations, but with Hitler in power, life had become dangerous. When Anne was four, her father, Otto, moved the family to Amsterdam. For six years, the family was happy and safe there. Otto had a successful business. Anne and her sister Margot had made many friends, and Hitler and his Nazis seemed like faraway monsters. Here's a pause and think for the go formative. Who was Hitler? Where did he rise to power? Invasion. Then in May 1940, Nazi forces invaded the Netherlands and began passing laws to remove Jewish people from society. Anne and Margot were kicked out of their school. They couldn't ride buses, see movies, or be outside after 4 p.m. After 8 p.m. Soon Jewish people started to vanish. There were rumors about concentration camps, horrible places where the Nazis were murdering Jews. But Anne's family couldn't leave Amsterdam. By 1942, Jewish people were forbidden to travel. With his family trapped and in peril, Otto Frank came up with an idea. The family would hide. Behind Otto's business was a smaller building, an annex that could be accessed only from inside the main building. It seemed like the perfect hiding place. Four of Otto's employees agreed to help the Franks by sneaking them supplies. And that's where the Franks were headed that hot morning on, in July 1942. In the go formative, do this one. Pause and think. Why did Anne's family decide to go into hiding? And here we have a map, a world at war. Anne's story takes place during World War II. This map shows Europe, this is Europe, in 1942 in the middle of the war. By then, the Nazis controlled most of Europe. Can you find Amsterdam? where Anne and her family went into hiding. Correct, there's Amsterdam right here. That's where they were. Living in fear. After the Franks arrived at the annex, they were joined by another family and a dentist named Fritz Pfeffer. In total, eight people hid in the annex, a space barely big enough for four. Living in such a small space was difficult. Anne's only comfort was her diary where she could write down her feelings. I'm longing, so longing for everything, and wrote to talk, for freedom, for friends, to be alone. Meanwhile, Otto's business kept running. With the exception of the four helpers, no one was aware that people were hiding a few feet away. Anne and the others in the annex spoke in whispers. The smallest noise could give them away. 
Occasionally, the helpers came with supplies and news. War, World War II was raging across Europe. People were starving, and many Jewish people had been taken away by the Nazis. Pause and think in the go formative. Why was Anne's diary so important to her? On the left, we have a picture of the rise of Hitler. Adolf Hitler and his Nazi party rose to power in Germany in 1933. He blamed Jewish people for the country's problems. Many Germans were already prejudiced against Jews because they had different beliefs. The secret annex. This is the attic in the annex where food and supplies were stored. Anne liked to come here to write and look out the window. In the small photo, Anne's family is pictured from left to right. Margot, Otto, Anne, and her mother Edith. They lived in the tiny annex with four other people. Dragged out. Anne would live in the secret annex for two long years. During that time, she chronicled her experiences in her diary. She described dinners made from rotting potatoes and the difficulty of finding enough privacy to take a bath. In beautiful cursive, Anne wrote that she wanted to live forever. She wanted her life to have meaning. She vowed to become a famous writer. I can shake off everything if I write, Anne wrote in April 1944. My sorrows disappear. My courage is reborn. Then came catastrophe. Catastrophe is a terrible disaster. Hurricane Sandy was a catastrophe that left many homes destroyed. In August 1944, Dutch police and a Nazi officer forced their way into the annex and dragged everyone away at gunpoint. When the officers were gone, two of the helpers, Meep and Bep, crept into the annex. The officers had stolen anything they considered valuable, but they had left something precious behind, Anne's diary. Pause and think for the go-formative. What were Anne's dreams for her future? Death Camp. During the Holocaust, the Nazis murdered about 6 million Jews. This image was taken at Auschwitz in Poland. It was one of the many concentration camps where Jewish people were forced to live in horrible conditions before being killed. A special gift. About nine months later, in May 1945, the fighting in Europe finally ended. The Nazis were defeated. By then, they had murdered 6 million Jews. This genocide is known as the Holocaust. Genocide is the killing of many people who belong to a certain race, religion, or other group. We stopped at the monument to remember the people who were killed in the genocide. Otto Frank was rescued from a concentration camp, but upon his return to Amsterdam, he learned that his wife and daughters had not survived. Otto went into his office and shut the door. Then Meep knocked softly. She had something to give him, Anne's diary. Now Otto could share Anne's words with the world. The Diary of a Young Girl, first published in 1947, gave a voice to those who died in the Holocaust. Today, it is one of the most read books in the world. In this way, Anne's wish came true. Through her diary, Anne Frank lives forever. Pause and think in the go formative, what was the Holocaust? This was Anne's diary. She named her diary Kitty and wrote each, each entry as a letter. 